What is up everybody and welcome back to the Maths Guide. Today we are going to be looking at how to multiply four digit numbers by two digit numbers. So let's waste no time, let's go. Okay, so we've got two questions to work on today. We've got question one and question two. And we're going to follow these steps of things to remember. First, we're going to make sure we include our column titles. Then we're going to start from the smallest value and then add up at the end. So let's see what that means with this first example. And our first step is to put our question into columns because we're going to be using column method to solve this. So I can see that with my columns, I'm going to need ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. So let's put those in place first of all. Ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. Now I can put my 4,524 in place and then I'm multiplying it by 24 so I can see that I have two tens and four ones. Put my equals line and I'm ready to begin. Now step two says start from the smallest value. Well, the smallest value is our ones column and the smaller number is 24. So this four here is going to be our starting position because that's in the smallest value of the smallest number. And then I'm gonna simply multiply it by the smallest value of the number on top, which is four. And four times four is 16. Now, if I tried to put my 16 inside this column just like this, it would mean that I've got a two digit number in the ones column. So I can't do that. So I have to look at my 16 and understand that it's made up of a 10 and a six. So the six will sit in the ones column, but the 10 will go into the tens column. But because I've not worked out the tens yet, I'm not going to put it into the answer column. I'm going to put it just here on the line waiting. Okay, my next question is I'm going to multiply this four times the two, the next smallest number of that 4,524. Four times two is eight. So I can put my eight in the tens column, but uh-oh, watch out, because look, I have this one that I need to add to it. There's an extra 10 waiting to be added. So it's not an eight, it's actually going to be a nine in that column. Get rid of that one because we've used it. Next question will be four times five. Four times five is 20. So again, put my zero into that column and carry the two into the next column. And finally, my last question involving this four is four times four, which is 16, plus my two is 18. And because I've got no other columns to work out, I can just simply put my whole 18 into the answer row, ready. So now what I've just done is I've actually solved the question four times 4,524 because I've used this four to multiply by the top row. So the next question will be using this two. But remember, it's not a two because it's in the tens column. It's actually a 20. So this row will be solving 20 times 4,524. So looking at this two first of all, we need to understand that it's actually a 20. So therefore, if I just want to multiply two times four, two times two, two times five, and two times four, and 20 is 10 times larger than the two that I want to deal with, so I'm gonna put a zero here, which will make everything in this row now 10 times larger. So now I can simply do two times four, rather than thinking that there's a 20, two times four is eight. Next question is two times two, two times two is four, then I have two times five, two times five is 10, carry the one across, put the zero in place, and then two times four is eight, add my one is nine. Get rid of that one so we don't add it up by mistake. So 90,480 is the answer to 20 times 4,524. But am I finished? No, because what I've just done is I've added up the individual parts. I've done four times 5,524, and I've done 20 times 5,524. And I got these two answers. So now what I have to do is I have to add these two together to get my total. So I'm just gonna treat it like column addition, and I'm gonna look into the ones column first, and I can see I have a six add a zero. Six add zero is six. Next column, I have a nine and an eight, that's 17, carry the one across. Zero plus four, now plus my one is five. Eight plus zero is eight, and one plus nine is 10. So my answer to 4,524 times 24 is 108,000, 
576. Give myself a nice big tick. Okay, let's have a look at question two, and I'm gonna try and do this really fast. So I have ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands again, and I have 7,261 times 42. I'm gonna start with the smallest value, which is this two. Two times one is two. Two times six is 12. Two times two is four, plus my one is five. Two times seven, 14, put it straight in. Get rid of that one so I don't add it up at the end. Next row would be this four, but remember it's not a four, it's a 40. So I'll put my placeholder in place to make that row 10 times larger. Four times one is four. Four times six is 24. Carry the two, bring the four down. Four times two is eight, plus my two is 10. Get rid of that two now. And then finally, four times seven is 28, plus my one, 29. And now I'm ready to add it up to get my total answer. Start in the ones column, two plus zero is two, two plus four is six, five plus four is nine, four on its own is four, one plus nine is 10, two plus the one is three. So my answer to 7,261 times 42 is 304,962. Let's have a look at what to remember. We must always put your column titles on top. This will help you avoid any mistakes of putting the numbers in the wrong place. Start with the smallest value column first and then work through the problem step by step, treating the problem like you would with addition or subtraction. And then don't forget to add it up at the end. Your turn, have a go answering these two questions here. Put your answers in the comments section and let's see if we can mark everyone's answers. Press pause on the video now, good luck. And there you have it. That is how to multiply a four digit by a two digit number. If you found this helpful, head on over to themathshelter.com where there's loads more videos that are gonna help you understand everything you need to know in maths. But for now guys, thanks very much. See you in another video, peace out.